some of you know, in the year 2016, I had a stillborn. It was the most devastating time of my life. I was shattered, I was depressed, I was broken. I had no answers to all the thousands of questions that I had. But one thing I knew, God has answers in this book and I need to read it and find it. So I started digging deeper and deeper and deeper in God's word. That's how everything that I'm sharing to you this morning are the revelations that I have found by studying him. So as I started studying, I caught the revelation of Passover. I said, I am going to take the Passover. When doctor said, nothing is working, your health is gone, your womb is gone, you have problem, autoimmune, your blood is wrong, everything what they could say, the medical science was wrong. I knew one thing, life of a creature is in the blood. I know my life is not in my blood, my life is in the blood of Jesus. So I started to take Passover. I kept my faith in Passover. Every day I took it in haste. I took it with diligence. I took it placing my faith in the finished work of cross of Calvary. I believed the blood of Jesus will remove every past memory from my mind. I believe the blood of Jesus will restore not only my mind, my heart, my soul, and my body. So I kept taking the communion, kept taking communion, day in and day out. As I was taking, in two years' time, again, I had a miscarriage. I am still taking communion. Then again, I had a miscarriage. But I said, quitting is not in my blood. I don't quit on God's word. I don't quit in the Passover. I don't quit by taking communion. So I continue to take communion. Lo and behold, enemy is a quitter. You don't have quitting spirit. You have the spirit of the sun. You have spirit of Jesus. So enemy quit. Everything changed. And uh, I became all of a sudden to the doctor's report, perfectly healthy, normal. And I conceived and the baby is born. Just cutting the story short. The baby is born on which day? The baby is born on April the 14th, the result of the Passover. I did not plan the date 14th because the doctors had told it will be somewhere first week of May. Every year, I told you, Hebrew calendar does not match with Gregorian calendar. Even this year, our Good Friday is on 29th of March, and Passover to them is somewhere around April 22nd. But that year, 2022, the Passover of Hebrews matched with our Good Friday. It was on the 15th of April, the Good Friday that whole world is celebrating and Israel was celebrating Passover. It was matching the lunar calendar and solar calendar. And what happens to Pastor Priya Abraham, the one who believed in the Passover in the month of Nisan? For me, God gave a signature. On the 14th day, I honor you with the result. On the 14th day, a day before the Passover, Roxanne was born. How wonderful is that? Who can plan this? Who can plan the dates? Who can plan this? God, when he brings things in order, it is called mathematics monotheism. <laughs> mathematics, <laughs> maths, everything comes together. Amen? It was not just the miracle of baby that I'm talking about, which is wonderful. What I'm talking about is God gave me a signature all the days of my life to remember. It was the month of Nisan and it was on the 14th day. I honored you because the Bible says, they that honor me, to them I will honor. Amen. So when you take communion, take it with that revelation. Don't think, okay, it's just a ritual. Absolutely not. Forgiven generation, the, the year we got the revelation of communion, that day, we changed it to every Sunday, Holy Communion. Amen? So I want to encourage you, take it as often as you can. I take it every day because that's my personal revelation. And let me tell you this. I have not seen a consistent person like our dear Pastor Priya. 
truly there has been many weeks in our life before a weeks filled with the devil's drama and trauma and heartaches and setbacks but on sunday morning she would always say let's keep moving and let me continue preaching you just heard the testimony that she had many miscarriages and there was this one miscarriage that happened sunday early morning around 4 a.m doctor said there'll be an extensive blood flow at least for the next 3 days but by 7:30 a.m she gets ready and she says come let's keep moving she climbs up two floors takes the mic and starts preaching god is good true story there are many witnesses to that in 2016 it was a sudden day of emergency one of the devil's biggest attacks in our life it was sudden emergency with surgery holding a stillborn baby very devastating but in the same week when sunday came she said there is no point worrying let me continue warring with the word by preaching it is not i who lives it is christ who lives in me so whether tragedy or comedy the word is the remedy let me not miss my opportunity to maintain my consistency and she kept moving today we have holding our restoration baby and even now many weeks before i could say anything she would say at first telling oh yeah baby did not sleep all night she has got high temperature high fever do one thing you do the baby sitting i will just go i'll come back as soon as i finish preaching amazing amazing and in the home church people used to ask her pastor you're coming from the bedroom to the hall but you're coming so intact with every strand on your hair is in place hand so groomed nail polished best suit and vibrant smile you're coming from the bedroom to the hall and there are only two people seated <laughs> why are you stressing so much pastor sitting throughout the week and editing videos and you're keeping on posting there are no views pastor not even a single comment only three people have viewed in that one is you and one is me <laughs> but she used to say no it is not about the numbers it's not about quantity it is about consistency it's not about quantity it is about consistency there is a god when he finds faithful people he will capacitate them and make them powerful people he'll make them powerful people two months back she and her team went for track distribution in this area and some of you are seated here faced many rejections not even one soul turned up to the church she just dusts off her feet and keeps walking and they ask pastor which world are you pastor we are in the digital world who will go for track distribution again she says it is not about digital world or ancient world it is about being consistent in doing all what we can it's just about being consistent and lo and behold last month she wakes up to many calls all of a sudden she wakes up to many calls people are asking your pastor priya what are you doing your messages are being blessed is a blessing to so many in the world today people are listening your videos are going viral who is your digital marketer what is the new strategy that you are using and she responds i found the best strategy and the strategy's name is consistency amen 
be consistent. What an inspiration you are, Pastor Priya. What an inspiration. What a tenacious woman. Everybody gets to see her smile. But I am that privileged one who gets to see the cost of that smile. I'm sure it's very, very precious in the sight of God. Praise be to Jesus. So I just want to tell you, be consistent in your walk with God. Be consistent in praying. Be consistent in fasting. Be consistent in serving. Be consistent in giving. Be consistent in sowing. Be consistent in showing up. Be consistent. The Bible says, you shall continue in my word and then indeed you are my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You will be free when you have the consistency. Right? Continue in the word. You will be free when you have the consistency. I tried my best not to become emotional, but it is so dear to my heart, could not control it, but to God be the glory. You can be a blessing by partnering with Priya Abraham Ministries to share this good news. To partner, visit priyaabraham.org slash partner.